We begin with the, this residents of an apartment building in East Los Angeles complained to Fox 11 News they've been living without hot water for two weeks. So we called the property management company for a comment. We got that and more. Fox 11's Susan Hirasuna starts us off with a story you'll see only here on Fox 11. Alex and Christine, you know that standard practice when you get somebody's complaint is to call the company that they're complaining about. So we did that earlier this afternoon and got an email back saying, hey, thank you for bringing our attention to this issue. Well, by the time we got to the location to check out the issues ourselves, they had already unloaded a brand new water heater. And here's more. You know. said you didn't even know I didn't even have my water. And look at less than two hours, we made this happen. Okay. This is what happened. A new tamper-proof water heater sits ready to be installed. Brittany Dyeron says she's been complaining about the lack of hot water in her apartment for weeks. They've been telling me you're going to have hot water. Okay, well, we're sending someone. Maintenance is coming. Well, today the news is here, and now we're going to have hot water. Indeed, she called Fox 11 News, and the property management company arrived before we did. Have we been trying to address the water heater? The biggest issue that we've had is somebody going in there and having to manually tamper with it. Why? I don't know what a lot of people do all the time. The company claims a so-called non-resident tampers with the water heater, forcing the company to send out somebody regularly to relight the pilot. Because they tamper with it so much, we can't fix it. We just had to get a brand new one. Dyer doesn't buy it. And we're all Section 8 low-income housing residents. For all of us, all 12 units to not have no hot water in three weeks, I think that's pretty ridiculous. My kids been going to school unbathed. The new water heater might solve one issue, but there are other Others. A leak brought down a large section of Dyer's ceiling. The ceiling is fixed, but Dyer insists the problem isn't. All of this has water and stuff in here, and it goes into my heater. And that's really dangerous while me and my kids are here. This can explode on us. And then there are the pests. There are glue traps all over Michael Green's unit. I don't get no sleep at night. Tell me about that. Nothing. What happens? I walk, uh, I'm watching TV. I see not a mouse, but a, a rat on my uh, kitchen counter. But he's not the only one. Residents complain of rats, mice, and termites. Solar Rental claims pest control comes out bi weekly. Dyer thinks ultimately calling Fox 11 News made the biggest difference for her. So you you are the first person to come out here and address anything. Ain't hey, nobody else came out here to address this. Well, Brittany was talking to a Nate Carl, Carter rather from Solar Rental, and he says that uh, no, they regularly come out and address issues at that apartment building and others, including bi-weekly pest control. But, you know, there's some part of the story that I'm not quite 100% buying, because he also said that uh, there was a two-day order from two days ago for that new water heater, but they're switching out a 100-gallon tank for a 75-gallon tank, and that's for a 12-unit apartment building. 75 gallons is typically what you have for a single-family home. Again, can't prove it. Can't prove that he's uh, kind of lying to me, but I found that kind of questionable. Reporting live in East Los Angeles, I'm Susan Harris-Suna, Fox 11 News.